Isaiah chapter 32, Jonah, the 32nd book of the Bible. Behold, a king would be Hezekiah, which is a type of Jesus Christ, shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. Here's a proper kingdom. And there were very few. There were no proper kings in, in kingdoms in Israel North. But there were a few good kings in Judah. Hezekiah was one of them. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and from a covert from the tempest, as rivers of waters in a dry place, as a shadow of the great rock in a weary land. You know, it's hiding from tempest. We're going, we're going to look at the, the tribulation period. Man's going to hide. I mean, it's just a wicked, vile chastening called Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. The eyes of them that see shall not be dim. Jesus said they have eyes to see, but they see not. And the ears of them that hear shall hearken. Well, that was not during the time of Jesus. The heart also of the rash, which is hasty, shall understand knowledge. When you're hasty, you don't understand. You're quick. Now, I had that tendency to overreact in the beginning, but then I weigh out the options. But there are people jump right into it without thinking. Having no knowledge, no understanding. And the tongue of the stammers, stuttering, shall be ready to speak plainly. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. And now this word is not the liberal word we have today. You know, we've got to stop reading Americaism in the Bible. A liberal is a liberal, somebody who gives out. Somebody who, who dispenses. They're free hearted. Words have deframed from the King James Bible. It's amazing. I have a few commentaries. I have some reports I'm working on. I do outline and I'm typing with Word and I'm typing with other things. And my spell check says, you got a problem. I look at that word. That's an old English. Why is an English spell check telling me that the old English, there's a problem? I mean, from the, some of the vile, wicked words that are in the dictionary today, that's why I stick to Webster's 1828 dictionary. And, and believe it or not, Webster's first dictionary, 1828 dictionary, had Bible verses in it. Up in the junk they put out today. So, you know, when you go reading through your Bible, oh, the liberal, yeah, the liberal. No, 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 no. Get your head out of America and put it into the old English to what is proper. Nor the churl, which is rude or a miser, said to be bountiful. <clears throat> the vile person will speak villainy, that's extreme wickedness, and his heart will work iniquity. See, we got the opposite. To practice hypocrisy, and that's the first time that word shows up, and to utter error against the Lord. To make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. This is the tribulation period. You're not going to buy unless you have the mark. I don't know how it's going to work because I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be raptured. 
But I don't think you're going to be able to go up to a soda machine, pop in your, your coins, and get a soda without first having a scan or something. You're not going to be able to walk up to a street vendor. We don't have. I, I remember growing up as a kid, and you don't see it often, but we would have in the summertime. We have the ice cream truck come around. You know the little this, the little children's song. You know, and every kid come running. I mean, it, there were kids that came out. You never thought there were kids. You saw kids you never saw before, and they're all coming out with money to get ice cream. That was fun. I mean, mom would give me a whole bunch of money. You get what you want, and I want this, and your dad wants that, and. But in the tribulation period, if there's ice cream trucks, I don't know, you're not going to be able to go say, okay, here, sir, can I get a popsicle? Okay, here's $2. Uh, you're going to have to give a mark. And the little boy, little girl, may, they got the coins, they got the right chain, they get a popsicle, but where's the mark? Well, they, you don't have the mark. You're not getting a popsicle. Uh, you're not getting a popsicle. And it's that simple. And the instruments also of the curl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. It's going to be dog eat dog in the tribulation period. It's going to be the devil running things. And it's going to be evolution, really, in practice. Dog eat dog. King of the hill. And there's one place, in, in, in I was reading the other day, I think it was, one of the minor prophets, you, you can't even trust your own family. It even said, I forget how to describe it, but you can't even trust your wife. That's the tribulation period. They'll sell you out. And with the needy speaking right. Even when the needy speaking right. But the liberal, let's get free hearted, devises liberal things, and the liberal thing shall be, shall he stand. And when we see the eyes shall, shall not be dim, and the ears are going to hear, I think, now, that's the only said it'd be a great delusion and all that. It's, They know they're doing wrong. Because any simple-minded person, if somebody needs help, it's in the heart of them to, to help them out some way, somehow. That's not going to be so in the tribulation period. And yet there are, there are going to be nations that are going to help that Jew. And medical and visitation and food and water and hiding from the Antichrist. And they don't even know they're doing it to please the Lord Jesus Christ. Just out of their heart, you know, we've got to protect these people. And there are going to be people in the tribulation that, you know, their eyes are open, their ears are. They knew full well what they're doing is evil and wicked. The Holy Spirit's gone. The Bible's gone. Christians are gone. Preaching is gone. Christian hymns are gone. And it's going to be a full world. Hey, we get to do whatever we want to do. And you, know, you look at the stories of Lot and his family. And the other one in the book of Judges. These people came banging on the door because they, they wanted to have sodomite relations with the people in the house. It's not going to be like Lot and that man. You see what's going to happen? They're going to come on in, help yourself. Can I join? And probably still offer their daughters. It's going to be a complete perversion of all that's perverted. That's the tribulation period. Have it free. Do whatever you want to do. I, I don't, I wonder if it's even going to be, as far as outside the Jewish people, the, the world, is there even going to be a laws? 
But I don't know. I'm glad I'm not going to be here. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. <laughs> That's the world today. I mean, you got television programs. They sit around the table, and all they do is gab, 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 and they don't do nothing. Like they got something important to say. You got women today, they got their soap operas. Like, there's nothing better to do than to sit down and watch soap operas. Hear my voice. Ye careless daughters, and give ear unto my speech. Well, wait a minute. Verse 3. The eyes of them shall see, shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. And here we are. Hear me. Listen to me. Now, if this is tribulation passage, Jesus said in Matthew to the Jewish people, now listen to me. If you're on the rooftop, don't go down in the house. Get out. If you're out in the fields, don't go back to your house. Run. Remember Lot's wife. There are going to be people. It's going to come at that time, abomination, and they're going to run to their house. They're going to run into the, and they're going to get caught. They're going to, they're going to do what Lot's wife did. Well, what about my goods? What about my house? And that time where they should have been running, they're going to get caught. They're not going to listen. I think the New Testament is going to be opened up to the Jews somehow, some way. Because the New Testament spells it all out. Daniel is a sealed book. But Revelation will open up Daniel to a point, And then when you're actually living the tribulation period, those books are going to be played right out. It's nothing more to how every going to, let's see, you open up the book of Revelation, and there's these beef, and they got scorpion tails, and they're torments, but, and then you look out your window, and there goes one walking by. Oh, okay. Now, that's not going to happen in the church age. And we can only guess and assume what this mark of the beast is, but we don't know because we're not going to be here. And yet Christians are, oh, well, don't take the mark of the beast. Don't That's not us. Give ear unto my speech. So there are people in the tribulation period still not listening. Many days and years shall you be, what's that word? And what's the tribulation period called? Trouble. And what was David's words throughout the book of Psalms? Trouble, 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 trouble. I wonder what modern Bibles do with that word trouble. I don't know. I don't care. But if they mess with that word trouble, then you mess with the tribulation period. You careless women. Well, how can they be careless in the tribulation period? Do you realize we're running to a to an age in this planet where humans may not work anymore? Computers and, and electron are doing, will do all your jobs. You know, we are in a period right now with COVID-19. You can have anything and everything delivered to your house. I get my groceries sometimes delivered to my house. If I want to pay five bucks, I, I can get my, my, my prescriptions delivered to my house. You can sit in your house and have anything delivered to your house. And the only thing you'll just have to do when they come to your door, ring the doorbell, let's see the mark. Or you'll do that with your on your computer, whatever. I don't know what's going to be. All right, I want to order my groceries. All right, mark, you know, put your forehead or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Ain't much you have to do if, if everything's done on the computer and they bring it to you. I mean, they're talking about today, they got, they're got they trying to get drones and robots to deliver everything to your house. I mean, if you don't have to work to get a pay, and you don't have to work to get food and all that, if you're complete under the government authority, the only work program you have is not going to work, is having a mark. Okay. What's the characteristic of the people? They're going to be careless, lazy, and do nothing. I don't know. I'm just, just, I'm just throwing that out there. Many days here shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. 
for the vintage, the produce of the vineyard, shall fail. Women are out there uh, uh, picking the crops. Ruth was out there picking the crops. Women are out there stomping the grapes. They make the wine. What are they doing? They're not working. And if they're not out there harvesting, then they ain't got nothing. They're too lazy to work. That's the American woman today. And the gathering shall not come. That gathering is the gathering of crops. Gather all the grapes together and put it in, put it in the in the uh, the trough and stomp out the grapes and make the one. They're not there doing it. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Fear, be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you, get naked. Make you bear, get naked, and gird sackcloth. Now they ain't get naked, go walk around. God is saying, take off your clothes and put sackcloth on. It's a time of mourning. It's a time of sadness. It's a time of dread. Tribulation. Upon your loins. And they limp upon their treats. I'll leave you to look that up yourself. For the pleasant fields. And the fruitful vine. That's the vintage. That's the vintage. Upon the land of my people Israel. Shall come up thorns and briars. The curse. They're not weeding. They're not pruning. They're not cultivating. They're not tending. And you can ask me about a garden. I'm great for when when I start a garden, I am guaranteed by mid season I have got the greatest weeds and things that I never planted. And tomatoes and cucumbers that I grow, they're playing peekaboo with me. Why? Because I don't prune, I don't I'm lazy when it comes to a garden. Yay. Upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. What's the houses of joy? The new wine, the graves, they're having a joy. That's, that's gone, as we've read so far. Because the palaces shall be forsaken. The multitudes of the city shall be left. The forts, the towers shall be the dens forever. Enjoy the wild asses and pastor of flock. This is desolate. I mean, the palace is forsaken. That's the, that's the royalty place. They're gone. They're empty. The multitude of the city shall be left. No one's there. Unto the spirit, God's spirit be poured upon us from high. Second advent into the millennium. Utter destruction until the Lord comes back. <coughs> On high is heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. The wilderness be a fruitful field after the Lord comes. The fruitful field be counted for a forest after the Lord comes, the millennium. The works of the righteous shall be peace. When the Prince of Peace comes. And the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. Millennium, not the tribulation. My people, Israel, shall dwell a peaceful habitation after the second advent. In the millennium, not the tribulation. The city, at the three and a half years of the tribulation period, they're going to walk in that temple and la la. There's Satan. Worship me. Well, we brought blood, you know, for the sacrament. Yeah, okay, you bring blood. You bring me Jewish blood now. I want the body and the blood of Jewish men. That woman in, uh, in uh, Revelation chapter 12. What, what's the dragon doing? 
He wants to devour her fruit. What's the Catholic Mass? Well, it's Jesus Christ. The literal body and blood of Jesus. Ask any Catholic who knows what they're talking about. Yep, that's the literal body and blood of Jesus. All right, now let's stretch it further. What nationality is Jesus, according to the Bible? Now, not tradition. What's the Bible? It says he's Jewish. So already the Catholic Church is teaching their, their, their members, you're to eat and drink the literal body and blood of a Jewish man. Now, does that not sound familiar? So when I mentioned to some people that in Revelation chapter 12, that woman is Israel, they gave me that puppy dog. Uh, what that mean? Well, he said God gives her a place prepared. Who is the devil out to get in the tribulation period? American. <laughs> no. Judgment shall dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness remain the fruitful field. The works of righteousness shall be peace, and the flesh of righteousness quietness and assurance forever. Millennium. My people shall dwell in a peaceful habitation. Millennium. And sure dwellings. That Jew, that Jew ain't assured today. Not under the United Nations and whoever president. I don't care if he's Republican or Democrat or liberal, whatever parties there are. At any moment until the millennium, the United Nations or the President of the United States or the Queen of England or Iran or whoever they could go up to that Jew and say, hey, you got to move a little more for PLO. Move back. You know what? You got to move over this because we got to give Jordan some more room. Well, actually, you know, uh, you know, these refugees, uh, they get your land. Well, you know what? You, you got to give up. There is nothing. Uh, that land is Israel's today, but there's nothing sure about it. How sure is that land of Israel today? Are there Jews in America? Well, what are they doing in America? They're not home. In the quiet resting places. <laughs> right now, they're there just as swamped with COVID-19 as it is with us and everybody in the world. There's something out going on with some kind of trial and, and, and with, uh, I can't say, Nahab do whatever his name. Forgive me for not being able to say his name right. I read today, I'm like, what's going on over there now? Why is he being investigated? When it shall hail. Coming down on the forest. And the city shall be low in a low place. Blessed are thee that so beside the... Yeah. Blessed are ye that so... Ooh, can't get that. Blessed are ye that sow beside all waters. Well, that's the best place to sow, by waters. And send it forth hither the feet of the ox and the ass. And that's all millennium. That's not tribulation period. That Jew is not going to be... After the... In the great... In the, in the time of the great tribulation, that Jew ain't going to be out in the open fields. Unless he's got the mark himself. And that's ultimate blasphemication and, and uh, abomination. But that peace for the Jew doesn't come until after Jesus Christ comes. After The peace of the Jew comes after God, Jesus Christ, just, uh, what's the word, uh, terrorizes the nations. In order to get the peace for the Jew, Jesus terrorizes the nations. 